today I'm going to teach you how to make harem trouser pants. These are basically loose baggy trousers with a lot of gathering on the top and a lot of gathering around your ankles. So these trousers have three parts, belt, leg and uh, ankle gathering. Now uh, we will start by taking total length of our trouser required. I want 36 inches. So uh, then next step we will do uh, measure our waist. My waist is 34 inches and divided by 4 is equal to 8.5 inches. 8.5 inches is a measurement I will take on this piece of paper. And I divided by 4 because fabric we will be using I divided into 4 layers or 4 folds. And this belt is a folded part so I will take 8 inches of this fabric and divide by 2 mean 4 inches of the fabric we will be using. So fold of 8 inches is equal to 4 and this is area this area is called hip drop so this is basically a crotch area so from waist up to uh, bottom of your crotch is a 12 inches is a higher crotch you can make it a bit longer as you want but this trouser I'm making this is higher crotch then I took hips length my hips they are 40 inches so I divided 40 inches by 4 and plus 6 inches because there is 6 inches for extra gathering and make the trouser look baggy. You can increase more folds if you want. It could be 8 inches. And divided by 4 because our fabric will be in 4 folds. Inner length 24 inches and that is included this belt around your ankle and this belt around your ankle is folded same as this belt so I will take 6 inches wide fabric and then fold it and it will be is equal to 3 inches and around your ankle measurement around your ankle 8 inches divided by 2 is equal to 4 inches so 4 inches and its width is 3 inches so let's start this measurement on a piece of paper and then the pattern we will use to cut our fabric I have pulled this piece of paper this paper is called cross and dot paper it is easy to use and you can use any paper you like so I will start by making a straight line over here And now I will take my belt measurement which is 8.5 inches. I will mark 8.5 inches which is fourth part of my total waist. 8.5 inches and width we need 4 inches 4 inches after fold so fabric we will take 8 inches and fold it into half that will make 4 inches I will mark it down 4 inches and straight line here again so this is our belt And now next step we need take our hanging hips or crotch length so total length I have is 12 inches from belt to the bottom here 12 inches 
I will just draw line here so we know this is our hanging hip drop and now hips as I mentioned hips measurement I have 40 inches and divided by 4 then I have 10 plus 6 6 inches for gathering and it makes 16 inches I will draw line up to 16 inches now I'm going to take leg measurement leg measurement 24 the total length I want and this 24 inches including belt around uh, ankle so take off 3 inches from 24 make 21 inches so 21 inches mark it down this is 21 inches now we want some gathering around here and some gathering around our ankle but I don't want too many gathering around my ankle so I will reduce it down to nine inches so that will be enough gathering around ankle and now we will join these marks from anchor to your crouch mark like this and then I will cut this diagonal this is the diagonal part this is our inner leg and now at the end we need belt for ankle as I mentioned around my ankle is 8 inches divided by 2 makes 4 and width as I mentioned here 6 inches fabric fold into twice make 3 inches so 3 inches I will go down and then join these marks together. This is how our pattern looks like after cutting. Belt, top part, the next hip drop, inner leg, and gathering around ankle area I will separate these parts and transfer on my fabric